Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share with you from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Yeah, starting at verse 12. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. Okay, for as the body is one, and has many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, Pat's two cents. Whether we be Baptist, Seventh-day Adventist, Episcopalian, Catholic, Foursquare, Church of God, Church of God in Christ. Okay, I'm going to stop. I think you get my point. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 13. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. I'm repeating this so you hear it without my two cents. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member. But many, if the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now... Hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him? And if they were all one member, where was the body? But now are they many members, yet one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, neither again the head to the feet. I have no need of thee. Nay, much, much more these members of the body, which seem to be more feeble, are necessary. And those members of the body, which we think to be less honorable, upon these bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need, but God has tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked, that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. It didn't say the same belief. It didn't say that they had to have the same doctrine, Pat's two says. It didn't say that they had to run their services the same way and that they had to worship on the same day and that they had, uh, come on now. But that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ. And members in particular. I'm going to stop there. You know, the gifts go on to another slant. I'm dealing with the corporate body of Christ all over this world. Denominationalism is divisive. Denominationalism boils down to man's opinion. We grabbed from that part of the scripture, which is true, scripture is true, and it said that, so that's what we believe. That's where we base our dogma on. Hmm. And no, 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 no. Our part of the Bible says this, not that, this. And that's what we place our, our, our dogma, and we are going to be dogmatic or we're going to die. But we're going to die being dogmatic. <laughs> oh, so there. And this is what happens. One will not mingle with the other. You think the Democrats and the Republicans look like buttholes. 
Imagine how stupid the body of Christ looks. They can't even get it together. If they disagree on one point, never shall the twain meet. Oh, no, no, no. You don't believe what I believe. I don't believe what you believe. I'm better than you. You think you're better than me, but I'm better than you. So we're always at odds. You talk about the Cold War. There's a war going on in the body of Christ. And it is pathetic and it is destructive. We're steadily pointing the finger at them. We don't point at them. We point down to them. Because they don't have our truth. Oh, no, baby. They're going straight to hell. They probably live rings around you. But no, that doesn't matter. They don't add up to this point that we concentrate on. This is where we base everything on. Our walk, our foundation, everything. Jesus is the fulfillment of everything. But you're focusing on this. You got all this in Christ, but you're focusing on this. Do or die. Body of Christ, wake up. The Bible says we are to love one another. Love God with all our heart, mind, soul, strength, all of that. And we are to love each other as we love ourselves. I'm going to ask like Black Eyed Peas. I'm telling you, that group, that song has been sticking on me for a very long time now. Where is the love, y'all? Where is the love you say you have for the body of Christ? You're so busy policing each other. Mm. Why you got those shoes on? We don't wear that in church. Be glad they're at church. They may not be at your church, but be glad they're at church. Oh. Okay. There should be no schisms in the body. Stop splintering us into pieces. Stop being so divisive. Stop being so opinionated and judgmental. Stop it. Stop being so religiously prejudiced. Religious bigots. Stop it. Your way or the highway. That needs to end. You don't have the last word on the word. And guess what? Neither do I. Neither do they, neither do they, none of us have the last word on the word. Walk in the truth you know, and let others be free to walk in the truth they know. That's why Galatians 5, 1 says, You have been called unto liberty. Do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I love you.